Before we start with the tutorial, I just wanted to show the little finished product I made. And uh, right here, as you can see, it's already working. So what I'm going to do is make a little control slider that uh, when you click somewhere on it, it'll find the ratio of where you click to the end and then change the size of this little sprite right here. So as you can see, it's updating a label and wherever we click, that's where um, the, the value is. So basically a value from like, let's say like zero to 100 or zero to 3.0, which I'm doing right now. And it has steps of 0 0.1 in each step. So as you can see, it looks pretty damn smooth and it works. So first thing that we're gonna do is make a little control node. And I'll just like keep the name of control. Godot already uh, sets the anchors for you and everything. It's pretty nice. And uh, I'll make like a little HBox slider because uh, we're going to have like a little label and the slider that's right before it. So after you set your HBox container, you're just going to uh, find a texture progress. So that's what we're going to use to make our little slider. And then we'll set a margin container and have that contain a label. So you're gonna add three textures to so the texture progress, over, under, and progress. You want three different pictures. One, one will be a, a scroll bar over, scroll bar progress, and a scroll bar under. You can name them whatever you want, but I just like naming them this way so I know which one goes under, which one goes over, and which one's in the progress. So I'll set all those textures right now, and then set the value afterwards so that you can see the progress. So wherever I click on the slider will be like a ratio between where I'm clicking and the end. So now that we got all the graphics set up, what I'm going to do is add a script to the control node. I'll just like keep the same name and I'll get rid of all this motherfucking shit. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a little function called ratio and body. And this will just like find where the user is clicking and compare it to the end to find the ratio in between where the user is clicking and the end of the slider. So yeah, and I'll just pass in a slider of type texture progress. And so that we could use multiple different sliders if we want to. So we're going to capture where the user is clicking compared to the end of the slider. So that'll just be um, get local mouse position minus the beginning position, which will just be rect position. So we're going to use that click position right now to find the ratio. So we'll use split position click dot X and divide it by the end of the slider, which would be rect size. So we're only like paying attention to the X axis because that's all we're like concerned about since it's moving left to right. We're only concerned about that ratio. We don't really care about the Y axis right now. So if you want a slider that moves along the Y axis, you'd find the Y instead of the X. Or if you're finding one that moves diagonally, you probably just want to use the vectors. But yeah, so for right now, I'll just find this. And uh, yeah, so that's a ratio. And uh, what we want to do with the ratio is it could be, it could also be negative. We could actually be, we might be going past the slider or like before the slider. So after that, we only want the ratio to be between zero and one. So we're going to check if it's greater than 1.0. And if it is, then we'll just set that to 1.0. And if it's less than 0, 0.0, then we'll set the ratio to 0, 0.0 since it's a float. And after that, we will return the ratio. So we need a bool to check if the mouse is inside the slider, so I'll make a variable called mouse in slider and initialize it to false since at first the mouse will not be in the slider. And it'll just be for when we uh, reach a signal of the mouse being in the slider, that will be true. Or if it exits, it'll be false. So we wanted to get the two signals mouse entered and mouse exited so that we could tell when the mouse is in the slider and when the mouse exits the slider. All these two functions will do, which are connected to the signals, will just like uh, set the mouse in slider equal to true if it's uh, the mouse has entered or false if the mouse has exited. So we're going to use that bool variable in our input function and then we're going to check if the mouse is in the slider and if the user is clicking the left mouse button because that's the only button we want to affect the slider. For now, I'll just put pass though, but we're going to call this function down here that I'll call set value. We're going to pass in a parameter called slider of type texture progress. And uh, inside the function, the first thing we're going to do is set the slider's value to the ratio that we found times the max value of the slider. So right here, I accidentally put just var ratio, but I'm just going to change it to slider dot value equals to that ratio times slider dot max value. So this will find the... Um, the ratio of where we're clicking based on the x-axis, so let's say if we're like halfway through, it'll be 0 0.5 times the slider's max value, which will be three in this case, and we'll get a value of 1.5. So that's uh, kind of what we want, basically. And uh, yeah, so the slider's value is already getting updated. And actually, right now, we I could actually just show you the code. So I'll instance this scene, I'll play it, and it is not clicking because I did not add that in there. So set 
value and I'll pass in the texture progress and right here what whoops I'll play this and it's already working so it's already like send the value based off of a mouse clicked and uh, probably what we want to do as well is to like show the user of what we're doing so right now I just put a label with size starting at 1.0 well it'll, it should be 1.5 since it's half basically it's starting off and uh, yeah so what I'll do right here is uh, I'll find that label and set its text equal to size and plus a string and then set that put that value in there slider dot value and look at this so now this is following what we're doing see look halfway it's 1.5 so that's what we're testing so bam right here it's already working the labels updating all the visual representation is done but what you probably want to do is actually send something to actually have the slider effects on we don't want it to just like display the user or else it's just pointless so what I'm gonna do next is make a little no 2d scene so um, I'll just add a sprite and make a little script for the sprite sprite.gd yeah so um, what I'm gonna do is after this is uh, all this all the script is gonna do is just like uh, catch a signal basically and then so I need to make a little singleton whoops I need to make a singleton that'll basically be like an event bus system and I'll name it events and then add a script and save the scene click on project settings and then go to auto load and then we're gonna find our events scene and uh, add it as a singleton so bam right there we got it as a singleton so right here you don't need any of this and uh, we're just gonna set up a signal called um, size changed and we'll pass in a value and then bam save that go this thing say events dot connect and go to size changed self and connect this to a function I'll just name it change size and right here change size we'll make that a function change size and since we're passing a value it will be uh, we're gonna set the scale to that equals to vector 2 since it's uh, gonna be a float that we're passing in so we need to set val and val on both the x and y axis so if you wanted to you could actually pass some extra information to tell it to only change the um, y axis uh, scaling but right now I'll just set it to both and right here I will set the node 2d as a main scene so node 2d and bam it didn't uh, it didn't go in because we did not instance a control scene so now that we did that we should probably actually we should probably add a canvas layer layer I don't know if you need to do that but fuck it it's a control note so let's play this select the main scene and bam so uh, I don't I do not have a sprite displaying <laughs> yeah so I probably need to find one and I'll just steal one from another project real quick okay so I stole a sprite from another project I'll just drag it to the middle of the screen so you can see it and right here we'll play it and it should change the size which it's not doing yet probably because I forgot to actually emit the signal so events dot emit signal and then name it size changed and pass in the slider dot value so it'll be set to exactly what the sliders value is so you could also just pass in the ratio that you found but that's not I don't think that's a good idea yeah so right here look that's three times the size zero times the size and bam you can make it as small or as big as you want so, I hope this helped, and hope y'all have a great mo-fucking-day. Hell yeah.